Hi, I'm Ryan with BTAD TV. Are you curious what the differences are between a cheap office chair and an expensive one? In this video, we'll help to answer that question for you. Are you looking for a new office chair? BTAD TV is your source for everything office. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. We recently received a comment on one of our videos asking us if we would be willing to compare an expensive office chair to a cheap office chair so that you could see the differences. So what we decided to do is instead of comparing two different chairs from opposite ends of the spectrum, we've actually got three chairs with three varying price points so we can kind of see the differences and what you get when you upgrade from one chair to the next chair to the next chair. So what we've got here on the end is a chair that I picked up yesterday from Office Max. It's the Real Space MFT. 200. Now this chair usually sells for $199.99. I was able to pick it up on sale for $99.99. So a very good deal over half off. The middle chair here, we've got the Eurotech Vera. This is a chair that sells for $399. And then on the end here, we've got the Aeron by Herman Miller, which can sell from anywhere from $900 upwards of $1,500 plus, depending on how you've got it configured. The way we've got ours set up here costs $1,275. So the first area where we start to see major differences between these three chair models is at the very beginning of the process with the shipping and assembly. So if we look at our least expensive chair here on the end, this is a product that does ship ground. It's gonna come in a very small box and it has limited packaging. So it has a bit of cardboard inserts and some plastic bags to help protect the products, but it's not gonna have any molded foam or anything like that. So we're gonna have the highest potential damage on the least expensive chair. It does also require the most amount of assembly. You're gonna to have to put together everything from the arms to the mechanism to the backrest. So it will have the most amount of screws and it will probably take around 15 minutes to a half an hour depending on your mechanical skill level. When we upgrade to the Vera chair for $399, you're gonna get much better packaging with foam to protect the parts, so there's a lot less chance for damage, and the assembly time is also gonna be a bit less because the mechanism comes pre-installed. So you're gonna have far fewer screws and it will probably take you five to 15 minutes for the assembly on the Vera. When we jump up to the Aeron, this is kind of being, gonna be in a completely different class. It arrives via ground, but it's gonna show up fully assembled in pristine packaging, so there's very little chance for damage, and you don't have to invest any time putting the chair together, roll it out of the box, and it's ready to go. The warranty coverage is gonna be another category that varies greatly depending on the price of your chair. So when we look at the lower price chair here on the end, it's gonna have the shortest amount of coverage with the biggest exclusion. So it's gonna have five years of coverage overall with one year of coverage on the foam and fabric. They will send replacement parts free of charge to you, but it's gonna be your responsibility to change out those parts. And the warranty applies for people up to 250 pounds. Now, when we jump up to the Vera, we're gonna gain another 25 pounds in terms of weight rating. So 275 pound weight rating for the warranty. And it's also gonna be much longer. Lifetime coverage on the majority of the chair, and then five years on the foam and fabric. Eurotech will send out replacement parts, but it will be your responsibility to swap out those parts or hire someone to swap them out for you. When you jump up to the Aeron, you're gonna get probably the best warranty in the business. You're gonna get 12 years of coverage on the entire chair, and it's valid for people up to 350 pounds for the size B and the size C versions. And you will also not have to perform any of the repairs or replacements yourself. If you live close enough to a Herman Miller dealer, they will send out a technician. If not, they will cover any shipping costs associated with you shipping your chair to or from their location to perform those repairs. Piggybacking off the warranty, it's also very important to think about the longevity of the chair that you're gonna purchase. And the reason that I mentioned the warranty is that looking at the warranty is a very good way to see what the manufacturer thinks of their own product. Now, when we look at the cheap chair, the fact that they're only willing to warrant the fabric and the foam for one year tells you a lot about the quality of those components. Those components are probably gonna start to deteriorate pretty quickly on after using the chair. And after using the chair for a couple years, it's probably not gonna feel the same way it did when you first bought it. So in terms of longevity for a cheap chair, you should probably only expect a few years out of a chair like this. Now, when we jump up to the Aeron, it's gonna be a much different story. Herman Miller is willing to warrant the entire chair for 12 years. So they are confident that this chair will feel similar to the way that it did when you bought it, 
12 years later. And this can be shown by the very active used chair market for Steelcase and Herman Miller chairs. People are buying chairs that are 10 years old, they're still comfortable, they're still working well. So these chairs are built to last, they have strong warranties, and they're really gonna feel the way that they did when you bought them down the line. The Vera is gonna sit somewhere in the middle. It's gonna have five years of coverage on the foam and fabric, so expecting it to last somewhere between five and 10 years is probably pretty reasonable. It's gonna get much more longevity than the cheap chair, but not the same longevity as a brand like Steelcase, Herman Miller, Hayworth. Build quality is the next category that we're gonna take a look at, and this is probably the category where we see the most drastic change from the cheap chair up to the expensive chair. There's a few things that we can look at to show the differences in build quality, one of them being the casters and the base. So when we look at our cheap chair, it's gonna have the smallest casters out of the bunch. They have a hooded design, but they're only really meant to be used on medium to low pile carpets. The base is gonna be a very basic design, plastic, not much going on, not super attractive, but it's something that we do see on a lot of lower priced chairs. When you upgrade it to the Vera, you're gonna get nicer casters, they're gonna be larger larger, more suitable for soft and hard surfaces. They're gonna roll smoother. And the base itself is also a lot more attractive with a high profile design. When you upgrade from the Vera to the Aeron chair, you're gonna have one of the best bases out there, custom molded design. It looks really nice and the casters roll smoothly. They're larger and you also have a ton of different options to choose from if you have different varying applications that you wanna use the chair for. The mesh upholstery on these three chairs is another area where we can really see the differences in the build quality. So on our cheap chair, we're gonna have the most basic mesh out of the bunch. It's gonna be basically a knit mesh, not flexible. It's not really gonna to conform to your body. It is gonna be breathable, but it is gonna be the most coarse mesh out of the bunch. When we upgrade to the Vera, we're gonna have a lot more flexibility. It's gonna to conform to your body a lot better, be a lot more supportive. It's still breathable, but it is still gonna be a bit abrasive. When we jump up to the Aeron, you're gonna get the 8Z pellicle mesh, the highest quality mesh that we have seen, very flexible, very breathable, will conform to your body, and it's the least abrasive mesh out of all of the chairs that we have tested. Fit and finish is gonna be the final thing that we look at when focusing on the build quality. So when we look at our low end chair, our cheap chair, you'll notice that it has some very basic components to it, parts that are taken off the shelf to put a chair together, and the parts don't fit together exactly as they should. You'll notice the backrest is a little bit crooked on our model. The armrests also feel like they're a bit crooked, and you can see that the foam wasn't evenly distributed throughout the entire seat pad. The chair itself is also made from very basic low-end plastic throughout, and it doesn't have a very nice look to it overall. Now, when we upgrade to the Vera chair, this is gonna be another chair like our cheap chair that also comes from China, but it's gonna have some upgraded parts and components to it. So the parts fit together a little bit more snugly, a little bit more nicely. You don't notice things like the backrest being crooked or uneven foam. You're not gonna to have to worry about that on a little bit higher priced chair like the Vera. It also looks nicer than our cheap chair cleaner lines, a little bit better design. Now, when we jump up to the Aeron chair, this chair is gonna have the nicest fit and finish out of all of the chairs. It has plastic on it, but it's gonna be injection molded, very high-end look, the parts function very smoothly, and everything fits together perfectly as attended. You're not gonna have wiggling parts or any shaky features on the chair, and this chair is also so nice looking that it's featured in the Museum of Modern Art. So, pretty drastic change in terms of build quality from the cheap chair all the way up to our expensive chair. Chair adjustability is another category where we see pretty big differences from cheap chairs up to expensive chairs. So when we look at our cheap chair here on the end, it's gonna have a very basic center tilt mechanism. What that means is that the chair will recline from the point right under your seat. The problem with this motion is that it brings your knees up however much you recline. This can be bad for running into your desk or a table, and it also brings your feet off the floor, which is not great for ergonomics. It has a few more adjustments to help adapt the chair to you, back height adjustment, seat height adjustment, back angle adjustment, and seat angle adjustment, which is nice for a chair this low of cost. But you do get quite a bit more adjustability and a much better mechanism by upgrading to the Vera. So on the Vera, you're gonna get 4D arms, compared to the one-dimensional arms on the cheap chair. You also gain a seat slider and you gain a synchro tilt mechanism, which allows the backrest to recline at a higher ratio compared to the seat, which keeps you in a better ergonomic posture and doesn't lift your feet off the floor when you do recline. 
It's a little bit trickier when you upgrade from a chair like the Vera, which is a mid-market chair, to a high-end chair like the Aeron, because a lot of mid-market chairs like the Vera have quite a bit of adjustability to them, and simply upgrading to a $1,000 chair may not gain you more adjustments. Now, when we look at our Aeron, it does have adjustable lumbar support, a forward seat tilt option, tilt limiter, so it does have some functions that the Vera does not have, but the Vera does have some functions that the Aeron does not have. So. Simply upgrading to the most expensive chair on the market is not necessarily going to give you the most adjustments, but it will give you more adjustability than a cheap chair. It will also function a lot smoother than a cheap chair or a mid-market chair. The Aeron's recline is much smoother than the Vera's and it feels much better if you're rocking back and forth consistently. So upgrading for a mid, from a mid-market to a high-end chair is kind of just going to depend on what specific adjustments that you need. So the final thing we're gonna take a look at in terms of the differences between a cheap chair and an expensive chair is gonna be the overall customization available. So on our cheap chair, there were no options to choose from. You bought the chair as pictured out of the box. That's the way that it ships, that's the way that it arrives. You can't change anything on the chair to meet your desires or needs or anything like that. You're stuck with what you get. The Vera has a few more options in terms of customization. You can change the mesh back color and you can change the casters. Typically on a mid-market chair, you're not gonna have a ton of customization available. There are a few options out there like the Office Master line that do have a ton of options, but generally speaking, there's gonna be limited features to choose from on a mid-market chair. Now, when we jump into a high-end chair like the Aeron, it's gonna be a much different scenario. You're gonna be able to customize basically everything on the chair, from the casters, to the cylinder, to the base, to the mesh color, to the finish options, different armrest choices, lumbar support, the whole gamut. So if you need something really customizable to really meet your tastes, then you're probably gonna to have to look for something mid to high-end, and you're gonna to wanna to avoid one of the cheap chairs like we have on the end here. There are definitely gonna be major differences between a cheap office chair and an expensive office chair. Which one do you go with? That's gonna depend on your preferences, your budget, and how often you sit in the chair every day. So if you have a low budget or you do not sit in your chair very often, then I do think the cheap office chair route can be a nice way to go. You're saving money up front, it will probably be a more economical choice because you're not using the chair a lot, and since you're not using the chair that much, things like adjustability and overall comfort are not gonna be as highly coveted as people that are sitting it for six, eight hours a day. Now, if you are sitting in your chair for six, eight hours or more a day, then the cheap office chair becomes a bit of a liability. You may end up replacing it every few years and you will always be using a low-end chair with less comfort and less adjustability than a higher-end product. The alternative is to invest a lot more money up front to have a chair that you know is guaranteed to last 12, 15, maybe even more years than that. Another positive to going this route is that you will always have a top of the line chair for the entire time that you're sitting. So more comfort, more adjustability, just an overall better experience while using the chair for the life of it. I hope this video was helpful in highlighting the differences between a cheap office chair and an expensive one. If you did find it useful, please leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. This video originated from a comment question. If you have a question similar to this, leave it below and we'll do our best to answer that in a future video. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future content and thanks a lot for watching.